Is what belongs to the past over or can we speak of a history as a living history? How do people deal with feelings of guilt and responsibility? What is the importance and role of remembrance education in times of rising tensions? Important questions that dominated the lives of Simon Granovsky and Kunratinelli. Their answer to these questions is one of hope and reconciliation. Simon carries in his backpack the past of the stigma of being identified as a Jew during the Second World War. He's one of the lucky ones who was able to escape when the 20th convoy from this location, the Caserne d'Ossay in Mechelen, departed towards the extermination camps in the East. It was his mother who helped the 11-year-old Simon to jump out of the train at the time when the train was slowing down. He never saw her nor his sister again, and his father died shortly after the Second World War. Overwhelmed by grief, Simon had to bear the burden of the war and the Holocaust all alone. Konrad Tinel has in his backpack the burden of a family that had an adoration for National Socialism. The children were actively encouraged to collaborate with the occupier. When that dream of a great empire started to perish, the family fled to Germany. He experienced the flight as an odyssey through the ruins of Europe. Kunrat has struggled with his family's position, especially after the horror of extermination camps came to light. One became a lawyer, the other an artist. No two life paths that could grow further apart, given their past, given their origins and their backpacks. And yet these people with these heavy legacies met each other in 2012 and even became friends, close friends. The friendship was reflected in the book Finally Liberated, No Guilt, No Victim. Ni victim, ni coupable, and fin libre. Why is it so difficult to love the world, Hannah Arendt wondered. It remains a tough philosophical question, but we nowadays know the mechanism that caused all this misery. Both friends know this all too well, as they state. The misery is that anybody, even the most ordinary person, can turn into a monster. A first step towards the precipice was, and still is, to stop talking to each other. The second step is ridiculing and denying humanity to the other. And finally, when violence becomes an option, well, we further descend into a hellish spiral. We honor Kun Ratinel and Simon Granovsky because they understand better than anyone else what the power of hate, but also of friendship and reconciliation can be. Both friends know that hope lies in teaching future generations so that we, as humanity, can learn from our mistakes. That's why education is so important for them. That's why they still bring their message to young people in schools. As Simon Granovsky said, yesterday's cruelty must be known to defend today's democracy. Democracy is a battle of every day. Forgetting is dangerous for humanity. Together they form a symbol of brotherhood and peace. They have learned to appreciate each other as human beings, to appreciate who they are apart from their backpacks. This message of fraternity is completely in line with the values we as a VUB want to promote. Freedom, equality and solidarity. Today we are awarding an honorary doctorate to two people for that invisible bond that holds them together, their friendship. On vous remercie, Simon. We thank you, Koenraad, for accepting this title of Dr. Honoris Causa from the VUB and the ULB.